Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure to unplug the appliance before beginning. To replace the drain pump in your washer, first remove the screws at the back securing the top panel. Now slide the panel back and lift it off. Next, pull out the dispenser tray and depress the tab in the back to fully remove. Now remove the dispenser mounting screws. Slide the dispenser back and carefully pull the control panel off from the top. Disconnect the two wire harnesses and set the panel aside. Now use needle nose pliers to remove the retaining wire and spring from the door boot seal. Pull the seal away from the lip of the front panel. Remove the mounting screws to release the door latch assembly from the front panel. Open and detach the filter access door and release the drain tube from the retaining tab. Next, remove the screws inside the filter housing securing the front panel. Now carefully lift the front of the washer up and support it. You can now remove the screws at the bottom securing the front panel. Now is also a good time to detach the pump assembly wire retainer from the base. Remove the support and gently lower the washer back down. Remove the mounting screws on top of the front panel. Now use a flathead screwdriver to depress the locking tabs to release the front panel from the frame. Detach the recirculation hose from the retaining brackets on the panel and set the panel aside. Uncap the drain tube and drain the excess water. Then recap the tube. Now release the retaining clamps securing the hoses to the pump assembly and pull the hoses off. Be prepared for some water to spill. Remove the screws securing the pump assembly to the mounting bracket. Now push the assembly back to release it from the base. Next, detach the drain pump cover and disconnect the wires. Now remove the mounting screws and pull off the old pump. Install the new drain pump by properly aligning it on the assembly. Then replace the mounting screws to secure. Connect the wires to the new pump and snap on the cover. Position the pump assembly in the cabinet by inserting the mounting tab into the slot in the base, then push forward. Replace the screws to secure the assembly to the mounting bracket. 
Snap the wire retainer into the base. Reattach all of the hoses to the appropriate ports on the assembly and position the retaining clamps to secure. Replace the front panel by aligning the slots in the panel with the tabs on the base. Secure the recirculation hose in the retaining brackets. Make sure the door latch assembly is inside the cabinet and snap the top half of the panel into position. Replace the screws on top. Lift and support the washer. Then replace the screws on the bottom. Remove the support and lower the appliance. Replace the screws in the filter housing. Secure the drain tube under the retaining tab. Reattach the filter access door and snap it closed. Now realign the door latch assembly in the front panel and replace the mounting screws. Align the boot seal on the lip of the front panel. Replace the retaining wire and spring to secure. Replace the control panel by first reconnecting the wire harnesses. Now insert the control panel tabs into the slots in the trim and snap the top half of the panel into place. Reposition the dispenser and replace the mounting screws. Slide the tray into place. Reposition the top panel by aligning the edge of the panel with the tabs on the support bracket, then push forward. Replace the screws in the back. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your washer should be ready for use.